Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another Buoy 10 update. There will be several more of these, hopefully, over the next 25, 30 days. And hopefully, they'll be all as positive as this one. Uh, so let's back up a little bit. Last couple days, I've been struggling out in the ocean, having a hard time getting my fish. Plenty of bites, just can't get them to stay hooked, or wild fish, or who knows what. But today, I finally made it happen. Uh, what we saw differently out there today, though, was a lot less Chinook and that's actually a good thing for the river because the tides are right for these schnook to come in if you've paid attention to these reports over the years as the tides begin to get smaller that's typically when the schnook come in the tides have been getting smaller we caught less schnook out in the ocean which hopefully means they are here and from the reports that i got in the river they're definitely better today than it has been last two days so going into this weekend hopefully it'll be a good tide set and we'll see a bunch of schnook caught uh, but out there in the ocean today, I ran back up north uh, to the numbers where I've been finding fish the last couple days where everybody else is. Uh, but today it seemed like the fleet was actually pretty spread out. There were people from the red line all the way up, uh, actually quite a ways north. And everybody was catching fish. The fish are just kind of scattered. We hit these little pods of fish where we'd get four, five, six bites, I'd whip around, come right back through those numbers like I have been the last few days. And again, the fish are gone. Uh, but we ended up wrapping up our day over on the red line and what we found over there was water temperature was a big deal. Uh, it didn't seem to matter up north from the green line north, but on the red line, uh, as soon as I hit that river water, that warmer water, no bites. As soon as I got onto the ocean side, a little cleaner water, clearer water, cooler water, we were getting bit again. And that helped us wrap up our day and get all of our keepers for the crew. Uh, as far as colors go, when I was in that dirtier water up north, the spin fish with solid colors, like a red one, or I found some that are just bone, they're just blanks. It's the off-white color that was working pretty good. As soon as we got back into the clearer water, uh, my silver red just hunted all day long. I think yeah, I still got it out. I'll grab it for you real quick. What I do is I put a little hoochie on it. Here we go. So that was been the guy that's been doing some focus there it goes this is the one see all the teeth marks on it that's been doing really really well for me um, that's just a little fish field baby hoochie they make these little mini hoochies that are uh, I think they're inch and a half two inches something like that but uh, this little silver red one in a 2.5 has been doing the best for me the last couple of clear water it definitely did well uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I wanted to bring that up, too. Uh, there is a closure out there in the ocean. Most people have been staying out of it. There were a couple boats that slid in, and they probably just didn't know any better. Uh, but we are required, if you're fishing north, you are required to stay outside of this closure area, which is 1240840 is your east line. So if you look at your um, eastern end of, uh, edge of the boundary. So if you are looking at your graph, uh, in fact, I pulled it up here, so I'll switch. So when you're looking at your GPS, hold the camera steady, you got your north line and then your west line. That west line is the number that you want to pay attention to and you need to stay outside of 124-08-40, 124-08-40. And they're doing that to try and keep us from catching too many Chinook because if they do, that might impact our river season. So they're doing that for a good reason. They're trying to keep us off the beach and allow those Chinook to come in. Speaking of Chinook, oh boy. Off my carcasses and that is 100% a Chinook, at least what they look like on my graph. Coming in the river. I think I'm gonna spend one more day out there uh, in the salt. It was just too much fun today. It was just absolutely beautiful. I mean, heck, look at this weather today. This is unbelievable for it to be that calm at one o'clock in the afternoon out here <laughs> at buoy 10 never happens like this and with this afternoon tide set if you fish this evening you'd have a real good shot of catching some fish Ooh, there's another one too show that one to you another one they're here so hopefully we get to go have some fun here soon in the river it's been a blast out there in the ocean but I'm ready for the technical side of fishing the river. Ocean has kind of just put them down 12 to 20 on the counters and just troll around until you find them. The river, that's where I gotta really earn my money. I gotta pay attention to a lot of little fine details and chase the fish up and down river as the tide's flushing them around. That's where I gotta work hard. So 
one maybe two more days out in the ocean uh gosh the fish are right there at the uh at the closure area just past buoy 10 like buoy 4 buoy 3 they're right there that's a ton of co so maybe on this next growing tide set we actually might see some coho push in which is a little bit earlier than usual but we will take it any more action we can get in the river would be awesome okay i think that's about it i think i covered most of it so again we'll see you crazy kids tomorrow good luck fishing be safe out there whack and stack and yeah i don't know any other cliche you can throw out there. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Later.